Today we are looking at the univalent versatile Linux distro. So this is based on Arch Linux. So it says it has like a eight desktop flavors. So this is a boot menu of a univalent versatile new Linux. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot. I think it's uh, from Japan, I guess. So I'm running it on a virtual machine, which is uh, VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and uh, with two processors. And uh, my CPU is like a 12 gen i5 and I'm running it on a laptop. So it takes a few seconds to load up, I guess. So we need to wait for a few more seconds and we should be seeing our desktop layout, I guess. I don't know anything about this Linux distro because I randomly found it on the internet. So this is new for me too. So this is a logo, uh, looks like a Windows 11 loading thing. Uh, Windows 10, Windows 8 like that. We don't know how the uh, desktop will look like. So I never made a video on this Linux distro. I'm going to show you the official website also. I found it on the SourceForge. Uh, I didn't found it on the on, on their official website because uh, it was in Japan. Uh, we can translate it uh, in the later video. So it is taking a lot of time. Usually uh, all Linux distro will boot up in uh, like a 30 to 40 seconds in my PC. Even it's uh, like a stable ISO file. So I made like a, a Debian 13 videos and the Linux Mint 21.2 videos uh, in the yesterday video. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out in my channel. They are already available. Even the Debian 13 Trexy, I made videos on that like a GNOME version, KDE version and other version uh, in the past videos. So it looks like it has like a XFC desktop environment. I don't know because there was only one ISO file in it. So I don't know what uh, the desktop environment we are getting. So it is taking a few seconds here to load up. It's still loading. Let's wait for a few more seconds and we should be seeing our uh, univalent versatile uh, Linux distro. I don't know who kept this Linux distro name this much lengthy. It's pretty hard to uh, st uh, say it every time, like a univalent versatile environment. So it's still loading. I don't know. Maybe it should be LXQT. I don't know which desktop environment we are having. Looks like uh, LXQT or LXDE for me. But we need to wait for a few more seconds and we should be seeing uh, completely. So let's type in display first. Uh, let's try to change the uh, display resolution. I think it's not uh, display. Let's type in a monitor maybe. Nope, it's not. A... Let's uh, customize and feel if it's. You don't even get the. There is nothing here. Let's close this thing. Let's find like a settings maybe. Settings. Maybe desktop settings. You don't have display settings in a desktop settings, I guess. Let's uh, keep it like that and uh, try to use this uh, uh, Linux distro. Let's open first the task manager. So CPU is almost like a around below 20% and the RAM is 476 MB. If RAM is like this, uh, that means it should be like a LXQT or LXDE. I guess it's a LXQT, I guess. So the version is uh, 0 0.1.10. This is all the process running right now. You can click on more details if you want. So these are all the things running. So let's try to can't do anything. Let's quit it. Nothing is working here. 
is our internet connection clipboard keyboard uh, let's open the terminal let's check the version of the terminal 1.0.4 let's type in the commands like a inxi command not found maybe neofetch should be installed operating system univalent versatile environment 23.07 i think it's a 2023.07 is a july and the kernel version is a 6.4.1 So these are all the information if you want uh, you can go through all these things so in order to change the uh, display settings you need to type in some commands so i'm not going to type in i'm going to leave it like this so let's type in other command like for example cat colon slash etc issue maybe hstop should be available i guess nope it's not available let's exit this thing let's go to their official website by launching the Firefox web browser. So these are all the applications available with the uh, Univalent. So nothing fancy here, just uh, basic things because it's a lightweight Linux distro. There are other uh, like uh, desktop environments available. Uh, I think it's only available when you install it. So I'm going to show you the installation process also after launching the web browser. The web browser is taking a lot of time. Maybe you should uh, uh, open it again by clicking on it. Let's uh, open the internet browser. So it is not opening. Let's uh, go to the installation and uh, then go with the browser i clicked on the install system let's see let's hope it uh, opens so this is the uh, installation or the installer the version is 23.08 i don't know uh, in the like in few minutes back it was like a 23.07 but the installer says as the 23.08 that's pretty weird. The Calamaris installer is a 3.2.62. So first you need to choose the language. This is some basic uh, installation thing. There's nothing complicated in here. First you need to choose the language. Every Linux distro has the same installation style. So no need to worry. Or So let's go to the location first. Uh, you can choose your location. You don't need to provide your actual location. You can provide anything and you can customize here if you want let's click on next you need to choose your keyboard or you can type in here to test it click on next so you'll be having like a two uh, installations here if you choose this erase disk it's going to delete the current operating system media files all the things firefox open now after like uh, uh, two minutes i guess two three minutes no problem let's uh, keep it aside and go with the installation you need to choose your hard disk if you want to delete the current operating system delete everything like a media files videos all the things you need to choose this option uh, if you want to uh, dual boot uh, you can go with the manual partitioning and uh, if you want to encrypt you can provide the password in the boxes which should be same in the both the boxes and then click on next it's going to uh, give you the username and password you need to provide the username and password here for example, I'm uh, going to type in run boxing as the username. If everything is going good, you should be seeing a, a tick mark uh, beside the box. You need to provide the strong password here and try to remember the password all the time. If not, just write it down in somewhere. So log in automatically without asking for the password. You can do this uh, on your own. Uh, these are all the things after this click on next you should be seeing a summary of what you choose in the previous steps of the installation after this uh, click on install it's going to install uh, the uh, univalent linux distro on your uh, hard disk or uh, virtual hard disk whatever you choose there so i'm not going to install i'm just showed you uh, the installation style so let's uh, close this thing and uh, let's go to their official website so I'm going to show you the source for and the uh, this thing also. 
their official website also let's uh, type in univalent univalent versatile linux distro i hope it's uh, uh here we have the source code and the osdn has the uh, iso files so let's uh, choose the source code you can choose uh, source code or the osdn so it's based on arch linux and uh, they have like a eight desktop layers it says lxqt xfc plasma and more and almost complete a japanese environment it says so this is the official website let's uh, click on it so this is the official website of the uh, univalent versatile uh, linux distro so let's if you want to uh, translate this you just need to copy and go to the google translate click on enter just go to the official website i'm using a vpn so that's the reason i'm seeing all these things go to the websites and uh, paste the uh, website uh, which you copied this is the website i copied from there just click on enter it will translate everything in english so let's close that thing here is the english language new japan broadcasting so if you want to read everything you can read it here so japan is fifth arch based uh, distro uh, you can download it from here ubuntu system like uh, windows 95 if you want to see this uh, linux distro just uh, uh, comment down below i'm going to make I, I should i will be making a video if you want it's a uh, kamuriki linux i don't know how to spell it no problem if you want to watch this video just uh, comment down below i will be making a video if you want it looks it says like a uh, windows 11 9, windows 95 so if you want again i'll be making a video for you so let's close this thing let's go to the source force go to the files so these are all the available files uh, i just downloaded it from here like clicking on it the file size is around like a 2.0 uh, gb but it should be like 1.8 gb i guess i don't know for some reason uh, the download uh, was very slow in the morning when i downloaded it and i'm using a vpn right now again it is uh, too much slow it says like a 130 kb i choose the prob problems downloading and uh, went to the other server the only server was available was the united states but it was uh, also the slow one so let's try to download it from the osdn maybe it should be a fast one let's go to the versatile It is taking a bit of time here again. OSDN is not loading. Let's uh, close this download. Maybe it should be working like that. Nope. It is taking a lot of time. So let's uh, close this thing. We don't want to waste the time here. So I think we saw everything. We saw the installation. We saw how to download. We saw the task manager let's uh, customize and uh, look and feel let's see that also so we have like uh, this much of widgets color icon theme mouse cursor font and other you can customize on your own if you want let's uh, apply the relic and about lx appearance 0.6.3 arc so this is the lx Qt desktop environment so let's uh, see other uh, things also i think this is a mail client uh, email client like a class mail let's open that too it's a light uh, it's a lightweight desktop environment but it is taking a lot of time to open uh, every app we have a library office here Let's even open uh, add or remove software, which is a uh, so, uh, software store or uh, the app store. 
what else we have here is uh, rhythm box let's even open the rhythm box let's check the version of the library office which is 7.5.4.2 looks like a latest version let's close this thing and let's check the version of the rhythm box it says 3.4.7 let's even close this thing i think we pretty much covered everything i guess there is nothing uh, uh unique here we just have simple apps so about 3.0.18 Can't close. I don't know why. Nothing is working. Let's go to the application menu again. So I think we covered everything, I guess. Let's open last thing, which is a uh, univalent hello. Package management, network, sound, time settings about the system. So here is the about the system. Let's uh, open the task manager and end the video. We pretty much covered everything, I guess. Here is the mail client after like a uh, two minutes. No problem. Let's close it. The CPU is running around 25%, 40%. It's below 40% and the RAM is almost like a 700 MB. So this is a lightweight Linux distro. Uh, if you want to try it you can try it i'm not going to recommend because i don't know anything about this uh, linux distro so i can't uh, recommend this only if you want to test it on like a virtualization vmware or virtual box uh, you can try it so don't use it as like a work pc on uh, our main pc for like this distro so i think that's it i guess we covered everything so let's set it down so again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out so there is already a video available right now because i'll be posting two videos daily so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video peace out